The next 7-star Terror Raid event featuring Cinderace is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into it, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So to start us off, we'll take a quick look at all of the details for this brand new Terror Raid event. As you can see, Mighty Cinderace is what the event is coined. The event is running from December the 30th, which is as of today of recording this video, Friday, until January the 1st, which will be Sunday. If you miss this weekend's event for the Cinderace, it will be running again in a couple of weeks time from January the 13th until January the 15th. So you're going to have another opportunity, like I say, if you do miss this one, or if you want to just take part in the next one again to cycle more item drops, then you're going to be able to do that. Remember, Cinderace is the main star of this event. It is going to be seven star level 100, and it is going to have the mightiest mark with it as well. Remember, with these seven star terror raid events, you can only catch one of these seven star terror raid Pokemon per game save. So per your copy of Scarlet or Violet, you're only going to be able to catch this Cinderace once in that particular game. It is, of course, going to have the fighting terror type it will not be anything different only fighting terror type and these are the moves that it will have it'll have high jump kick pyro ball acrobatics iron head and an additional move of bulk up so nothing else other than that no worries about sucker punch like maybe we suspected there so this might be a bit easier than what we initially thought the item drops again are going to be very good we're going to get xl and large candies here we're going to get proteins Fighting Terror Shards, you're going to get the TM bulk up, you're going to get an ability patch and then you're going to get additional drops with the chance of more XL candies, large candies, rare candies, more proteins and then other high cost items like shards and nuggets, nature mints bottle caps and ability capsules as well. So a, a real good array of item drops that you're gonna get. Alongside the Cinderace though, it's not the only Pokemon that you're gonna be able to access in this seven star terror raid event. You're gonna get Gengar in four and five star raids and Gyarados in four and five star raids. So the four and five star regular form Gengar and Gyarados can have any different terror type. You're gonna be able to identify them by a pulsing kind of aura around the terror raids, showing that they are spotlight terror raid vent dens and these will contain either the four or the five star gengar or gyarados four star of course will be level 45 five star will be level 75 these pokemon aren't going to be shiny locked unlike the cinderace that will be shiny locked so you will not be able to catch cinderace in this event in particular in its shiny form although once you've caught it you're going to be able to breed it and then have the chance of getting a score bunny shiny from an egg the hidden ability is possible on the gyarados and both the four star and five star obviously gengar is only going to have that cursed body ability and there is an additional gengar and gyarados terror raid event in these spots spotlight raids where you can get a Gengar that's always going to have a psychic terror type and a Gyarados as well which is always going to have a flying terror type so these are the two that you're going to be able to get with specific terror types as well as any random terror type as well the item drops are what you'd expect from four and five star terror raids a bunch of terror shards the level up candies you're going to get berries for the four star raids you're going to get a few higher cost items for the five star of course like vitamins bottle caps and ability capsules as well and for the exclusive psychic terror raid event den for gengar the item drops are going to be pretty similar to what you would get in a five star den as well as at gyarados the five star terror raid gengar are going to have access to shadow ball clear smog sludge bomb nightshade licking confusion or its additional moves which is exactly the same for the specific psychic type terror raid gengar and gyarados five star raids are going to have hydro pump dragon dance aqua tail hurricane and additional move rain dance and it'll be exactly the same on the flying type gyarados as well so it's an easy way to say if you want to go after the gengar and the gyarados in your games you can look out for the flying terror spotlight raids with the pulsating white borders to them and then for the gengar it's going to be exactly the same but just the psychic type raid um, and then your cinderace is going to be the fighting type so that is all of the details for this brand new event running now running from december the 30th until january the 1st but like i say if you miss this one then you're going to have another chance from january the 13th to the 15th to take part in this so like all of the other terror raid events you want to come to your poker portal in game and then you're going to want to come down to mystery gifts 
to update all of your dens and get check poker portal news this will just connect you to the internet go through all of the run of the mill things and you'll get this message saying that all of your dens have then been updated you'll get this update of the date today with three minutes after the update should have dropped so we should be safe and you can just quit out of this menu here this will disconnect you from the internet of course and this event will stay in your game until you next connect to the internet even though this will be ending on the 1st of january 2023 um but if you don't connect to the internet after that date you'll keep this event until you do connect to the internet next so once you have done this update you'll come to your map and you're going to notice the spotlight terror raids that are accompanying this raid den event which are going to be either four or five star gyarados or gengar these are the two pokemon that are kind of alongside this seven star terror raid event and you're going to be looking out for the seven star raid den which has the fighting type which is actually right next to where we are so we've not got far to travel to so we can go straight there and check out this event and of course, it's just worth pointing out, they will look like a six star terror raid. They have a black coloring to them with the white fighting type symbol on them with a purple kind of aura, glowing aura around them, just like this on your screen right now. That's the one you're going to look for. You, of course, if you have got six star terror raids, which you're going to have to have unlocked to access this event, you will still have your six star terror raid somewhere on your map. So you will be able to distinguish easily between which one is the event one and which one is your regular one so if we can find our six star terror raid on our map and it is down here and you can see it is an electric type one so that means that the other one that we're looking for and we're going over to right now is the event den and if you've recently just got a copy of pokemon scarlet and violet if you're wondering how to unlock six star and five star terror raids in your game i will link the video up in the top right hand corner now so you can check that out and i'll give you all the details with how you can access these raids so you can get involved with these terror raid seven star events so here we go here is the event den you can see it's going to have a bigger aura than normal and when you click into it you are going to be able to see it is that cinderace here it is a seven star event den it is going to be that fighting type and then you are going to want to pick a pokemon that is going to be suitable for you to use against this particular cinderace now we did a guide leading up to this event with pokemon that i felt were the best options going up against this cinderace and into this one we are actually going to use our armor rouge because i do feel like armor rouge is going to be probably one of the better options to use against it let's see what this cinderace is going for we know it's got access to high jump kick pyro ball acrobatics and iron head and that bulk up as well so be interesting to see if it does have any additional moves or if they are just the moves that it does have access to so straight into it we're gonna see it is gonna be level 100 as we know and going straight for a bulk up so a bit like that charizard that went for the overheat turn one cinderace is now going to go for a bulk up which i'd imagine is the standard every time we come into these raids we'll first set up a reflect it's worth just keeping it an eye on the reflect how many turns you have left on that we're probably best going for the acid sprays first just to get that special defense drop so we'll try and get three of those off and after the reflects up we're taking those acrobatics really really well i'm going to terrestrialize now and i'm going to just try and get big damage off it's minus three special defense so we should be able to get some significant damage off onto it without actually having to boost up ourselves i gotta say that armor rouge especially this set i don't know if it is the set i feel like it's more armor rouge though it's a bit slow setting up and getting damage onto the field whereas cinderace is putting a lot of damage onto the field and quite heavy damage especially after getting that bulk up turn one and then it's continually bulking up throughout the battle it's making it more difficult to take these attacks but you can see once you get yourself into a decent position like we are now we're not really in any kind of immediate threat of getting knocked out and we're going to be doing big damage to the cinderace every turn from now on since we have to rassalize. just need to be careful around this cinderace getting yeah there's a critical hit there so that's why that did a bit more damage but we should be able to take the next acrobatics before oh, it's going for an iron head so yeah no worries there but it's still doing decent damage with those buffs that it's taken to its stats you know so have to be a little bit careful against it but like i say it's not a, it's not as strong as the it's about on par with the charizard i would say it's nothing to seriously worry about you're going to be able to do this solo no trouble at all and see the shield smash there so 
you're not going to have any trouble. I think with using the Pokemon that we've kind of went over, but I would maybe say Armor Rouge, it's a good option for sure, but there's probably more optimal options. And that's something that we will cover later on um, in the over the weekend with an update, probably sometime tomorrow once I've had a time to go through, test a few options to see what the best ones are. So stay tuned to the channel for that one. And we'll have some really optimal options to go up against this seven star Cinderace with as soon as we can. Remember, if you are catching the Cinderace, you can only catch one per game save file so once i've caught this i'm not going to be able to catch it again but i am going to be able to come in and do these raids over and over again and collect the rare item drops that we are getting with these raids and that was one of the big bonuses with the charizard event obviously we were able to only get one of them which was a little bit of a shame but uh, you could still come in and defeat it and every time you did you got those item drops which meant you could get a lot of money very quickly and a lot of very rare items that you you weren't normally able to get so we've got an ability patch there lots of candies we've got the fight and terror shards as well protein we were right with that so 10 of those 15 of those nuggets and yeah quite a similar selection to what we get with the charizard seven star raid so very good item drops and tm there which is tm64 which is bulk up so that's a nice tm drop there and like i say some nice items that are going to be very useful and, and a raid that you're going to be able to come into and do super easy collect these items over and over and over again and if you are doing this for the first time and you come back into your map and try and find that next seven star raid then you're only going to get one of these per day so you're going to have to use that date skip in technique to change uh, and bring it back onto your map rather than waiting 24 hours which is just you know you're only going to be able to do three of these over the the whole weekend if you do that so to do it what you want to do is just go to your home menu come down to your system settings and then down to system date and time make sure your synchronized clock where the internet is off come down to your date and time just come across to the minute hand and then just tick it back one minute so we were on 17 we're going to 16 that's all we need to do then come back into your game and just like magic all your dens will change around and you'll get an array so there's the six star terror raid den that we've got there and yeah just above it is the seven star cinderace den so we can go to that one and just do it again and start collecting a lot of these higher reward items so that about does it and covers everything for this brand new seven star terror raid cinderace event that is now live in pokemon scarlet and violet i hope you have a lot of fun taking part in this event and use some of the strategies that we did cover in our preparation video for this event den i don't think it's going to be as hard as what i maybe suspected it was going to be but let me know your best methods and pokemon of choice that you going in and having the best success in this den with like i said earlier in the video i will be covering the best options going into this event den and we'll probably cover that either tomorrow or early saturday with the best and most optimal pokemon to go up against this raid with after i've had a chance to test a few additional ideas to make sure that you've got the best possible option for farming these really great item drops that you're going to get alongside this terror raid event i hope you found the video useful thank you so much for tuning in if you have drop a like if you're new to the channel do subscribe to stay up to date with all of our latest pokemon scarlet and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until then friends take care of yourselves and bye bye <laughs>